Good evening, teacher. Well, hello, Carlos. Hello, Thelma. Hello, Freddy. Good evening, teacher and guys. Uh, Good evening. All right, welcome, welcome. All right, let me see. Boom, 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 boom. We'll begin here in a minute. Do, 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 do. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Hello, Alvin. How are, I'm doing great. And you? I'm doing great. Hey. Are you driving? Yes, I'm driving. All right. All right. But I'm doing good, teacher. All right. Hello. Great. Are, are you go, are you able to participate today or, or are you going to be driving so I can um, write it down? Yeah, I uh, I couldn't hear you, Alvin. Sorry. Okay. So let's get ready. Let me see. 17, class number 17. All right. Hello, Doris. Welcome. Hello. All right, let me see. Good evening. Hello, Jackie. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. All right. Can you put us the Christmas tree? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like, I like to see the Christmas tree. All right. Okay. I feel like 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 a kid again, right? <laughs> uh, let me see. All right, we're going to begin with a uh, continuation with unit three, right? Unit three in regards to warehouse. Okay, so what I would like um, for someone to read it, please. Let me see. Janari. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Hi, welcome. Pleasure seeing you. Thank you too, teacher. Unit three, identify and provide suggestions. Two common issues relate to warehouse processes. Okay, related. Related. Very good. To warehouse process. Shop five, warehouse challenge, worship, scramble. All right. Wednesday, Wednesday November. 24, 2021. Okay, thank you, Yanari. Thank you. All right. And this is the topic for today. This is pretty much the agenda. If we have time, we can do something else. But we will continue with Unit 3 in relation to warehousing. And this is class number 17. Okay. So we have eight more classes left. Eight more days after today. Okay, now the let me see. 
Christmas. We're going to start with all right, Jackie. I see your Christmas tree in the background. <laughs> nice. All right. Let me see. Well, let's go to well before we begin. Before we go to the page, is we're going to begin on page twenty-seven, and I want you to focus on something. If you look at at, at your module on your book, on page twenty-seven, there's a there's like top five warehouse challenges. The pueden ver? Can you see it there? I took out the main parts of that area and I I put it here in the presentation also. So you can have access to something extra, right? That is like a link there. Not, not the YouTube video, but the link for the top five warehouse challenges. What are challenges? Can someone tell me what a challenge, what, what, what do they mean by challenges? Right here. Top. Challenges. Mm -hmm. It's this a field. Yes, very good. Yes, challenges, right? Look, there's a field. Los retos, right? Very good. Thank you. Right? Perfect. Now, we're going to look at that also, and that's related to the book. That is related to the module on page 27. But before we do that, let me stop here. So I wanted to begin that, that, uh, that introduction. And I'm going to take the first attendance. Okay? First attendance. Abigail. Abigail, okay, not here. Blanca. Is it present? All right, thank you, Blanca. Brenda, Brenda, all right, not here. Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. All right, thank you. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Edwin. Present. All right, thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. All right, great. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you, Freddy's. All right, let me see. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, not here. Iris. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. All right, thank you. Let me see. Jarvin. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay, not here. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay, not here. Carla. Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay. Not here. Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Rolando. Rolando. Okay, not here. Telma. Okay, I see. Present teacher. All right, thank you. And let me see. Janari. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Let me see. All right, great. All right. Thank you for joining today. We will continue. Let me see. All right, let me share screen. Again. All right, so we we read this already. Let's go straight to the page. All right, here we go. Can you begin reading, please? Mm -hmm. Blanca. Yes. Okay. Mr. White and mm -hmm. Daniel. Mm -hmm. 
appear, uh, please? Identify. Okay, first step. Identify and provide suggestions to common issues related to warehouse, warehouse processes. All right, continue right here. What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? How do you identify and prevent possible issues? All right, thank you. Thank you, Blanca. Now, what Blanca just read are two common questions that I want to hear your opinion. All right, these are two questions that are asked here in your book. It says, what are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? What do you think are some of the problems that warehouse, anybody that does warehousing or the providers face? Can someone give me some examples? What do you think? Any examples that some of the problems they may face? Freddy's? What do you think? What do you think are some of those problems that uh, warehouses providers have? Actually, I'm a shared teacher. Okay, thank you. No problem. What about you, Janari? What do you think? Transport. Transport. Transport? All right. Very, all right. Very good, right? Yes. Yeah, sometimes they, they can have face problems with transportation, right? Very good. That's that's true. That is 100% correct. Anyone else? Other. Okay. Yes. Import also. The import. Very good. Yes. Other pro. Excuse me. Yes, then other problem uh, can be uh, the, the warehouse is full. Okay, very good. So uh, full capacity, right? Yeah. Full capacity, right? I was mentioning that yesterday, right? About the cars and you gave me a solution. Yes, right, yes. Gemma? Very good. Excellent. That is correct. What else? What do you think? What do you think? Anything else? No, the problem is delivery date. What happened? <laughs> what happened? I think both of you talked at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Right, Nari, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Janari. <laughs> go ahead, Janari. Don't worry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Neftali. Sure. Sure. I think uh, some problems might be bad controls on in and out products. Oh, all right, very good, very good. Yes, bad control, right? All right, yes, that, that's true, Neftali, that's true. Remember that when you are disorganized, when people are disorganized, right? And when, when things like this happen, right? It's like everything goes awry, right? Everything goes in mishaps, you have uh, uh, miscalculations of products or misplacements of product when you're in and out, not being orderly, right? Not being disciplined, just like you said. Neftali, thank you for your input. Janari? Bad logistics. Bad logistics also, right? Very good, very good. Excellent. Freddy's? Product Excellent. damage. Excuse me? Product damage. Okay, pro yes, damaged products, right? Damaged products. Remember that in, in, in warehouses, sometimes there are accidents, right? With a yeah. forklift, and then boom, drops the box or something. It's like, oh no, right? That's, uh, those are some dilemmas, right? Those are some dilemmas. That's where the insurance comes in. Exactly, right? Exactly, right? Exactly, that is correct. That is correct. All right, well, thank you for your input, right? Thank you for your input. Freddy's and uh, Thelma, Nestali, and Janari, right? Thank you for your input. Anyone else that would like to share something about- Teacher, uh, it, it could be, for example, to have uh, less space in the place. Okay, yes, right? Okay, very good, very good, Carlos. All right, less space, right? 
that could be also that could be also a, another just like um, Thelma mentioned about space capacity, right? And you're confirming it right here, Carlos. Thank you for your for your participation. Now, remember, those are just some of the dilemmas, right? Thank you, Carlos. What about the second question? What do you think? The second question: How do you identify and prevent possible issues? How, how do you identify them? What do you think? Anybody? How can you identify that? How you were able to become aware of a problem and prevent possible issues? Hmm, that's I a like, uh huh. And for me, I think the assignment it will be when the advantage is less on the profits and when you know your product and your product is saying the customers are are angry it's a reason to know that it is an issue in my opinion very good very good become knowledgeable of some of the mistakes right very good carla perfect anyone else how do you identify true. yes Go ahead, please. It, it, it could be, for example, to have uh, uh, a good plan uh, before. Okay, very good. A good plan. Uh, a good plan in, in place, right? A good plan in place, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Carlos. Very good. Anyone else? Planning the role of, the, of transportation. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, very good, very good. Do make a schedule. Ah, very good document, right? Have a, some kind of registry. Okay, let me see. Francisco, would you like to share something? Francisco? Francisco? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yes. I'm sorry, I have a, a little emerging because in my house, we have a uh, bips. A visit? No, bips. Abejas. Oh, bees. Bees. Yes. Okay. I, 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 I need to, to maybe to okay. uh, what you, what apply you can, the, the, the. What you can do is uh, just stay connected, okay? I'm going to put you in mute. Just stay connected and take care of your issue, okay? Thank you for notifying me. Th thank you, Disha. Thank, okay, thank no you. problem. Just stay connected, okay? Okay. Teacher. Uh, Teacher, I was reading in the morning that uh, the product have to be in a uh, logic order. Okay, alphabetical order or a, a logic order. For okay. example, logical. Order, for example, in the alphabet, for example, or okay. or in a, a number. In a number system, right? Yes, some kind of uh, some kind of order, right? Like either it could be alphabetical or in sequence of numbers, right? A number system. Yes, Carlos, that is true. That is true. That's normally how they do the, the warehousing inventory, right? That's normally how it's done. Okay, now, now that we asked these two questions, thank you for your participation and your input, right? Number two, can you read, please? Continue, um, Blanca, continue, please. Blanca. Okay, yes, Nestali. Yes, teacher. Can you continue, please? Number two, Mr. White and Daniel are talking mm, about. Hola, Miss. Mrs. Right, Mrs. White. Mrs. White. Yeah, it's a and woman. Mrs. White and Daniel are talking about some issues with purchase orders. Read the conversation and talk and take turns practicing it. Very good, right? Now, um, just a little pause here. Remember that I know you're probably thinking it's Mr., right? But Mr. is like this, okay? That's Mr. M-R-S is Mrs. Mrs. Significa que está casada. All right. It's a married woman. When you have a miss, es una señorita. 
or you can have M, a little MS like that, all right? Like Miss Universo, like Miss Universo, those, those are single women, right? But when you see the MRS, we're talking about a married woman, que lleva el apellido de su esposo, right? Mrs. White, and you put MRS. Be careful with that, because if you see a woman, you, you still say Mr., right? And you're going to be making a big mistake, uh, <laughs> big mistake. So remember that, okay? Remember that they, they put the, uh, the acronym MRS for a woman and MR for a man. Mr. Mrs. All right, so be careful with that. All right, let's continue. Let me see. All right, so we have Mrs. White and Daniel, as you can see here, right? And they're talking about some issues with purchasing orders. And you're going to read the conversation and take turns practicing. So this is just a reading analysis, reading activity pertaining to warehousing. All right, who wants to be Mrs. White? Me. Okay, who wants to be Daniel? Me. Always, it right. has to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it could be you, Carla. No, no, no problem. It's just participation, right? It's just participation, <laughs> right? So that that is uh, <laughs> that is what I'm looking for. So don't worry. Okay, please begin. Okay, Carla, I'm going over some purchase. Some purchase. But Purchase order, but the products received don't match the order. The order. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the date. The system received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined, determined that one cost. Yes, it is. Determined. 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 Thank you. Determined the, the one cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by. Verify so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Very good, very good, excellent. Thank you. All right, thank you for reading this. What is reimbursement? This word right here, and ask for reimbursement. What does I that? I think like a reimbursement. Yes, yes, Carla, that is correct. Right, it's when when she's saying that. What did she do, right? She overpaid, sobre pagado, right? They overpaid three incomplete orders, right? Imagine a company playing, paying three incomplete orders, right? And they're asking like, hey, we have problems. From the beginning, she's talking about the orders didn't match, right? The products didn't, didn't match the order, right? For example, if you order 200 Nikes, Nike shoes, and you get, 200 adidas shoes right hey that they don't match the product right they don't match those those could be dilemmas that we face every day in life right those challenges remember not everything is perfect right so there's going to be some mistakes in everything that we do in life especially in warehouse in warehouse now um and then she's a she uh daniel's talking about yeah We'll send the documents and we're going to ask for a reimbursement, right? So they can reimburse the money. So in number three, it says, read the conversation again and complete the sentences. Now this is in relation to the page that we did yesterday, okay? So I'm going to, to do the one from yesterday and the one for today as one, one activity as a reading activity. So the one that you did yesterday and the one that is today, I'm going to combine them to do one and I'm going to make it a reading activity because they're both on reading, 
on reading, based on reading. So we're going to leave it at that, and I will send them back to you um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, and another thing. Tomorrow I will um, I will give the names of the winners of the presentations. Okay? So tomorrow um, you will know who won. I pretty much got it down to the last contestants. And I just have to give the final final thought on second place, right? Just on second place. So by tomorrow you will receive that. All right. I will I will call you personally or contact you, and then I will let it be known here in the class tomorrow. All right. So can you do these? These two, they're very simple, right? They're very simple. Bless you, Yanari. They're very simple. All right. And it's only two questions. Can you read it, please? Um, can you read it, please? Um, no, Francisco anda matando avispas ahorita. Let me see. Mm, Jackie, can you read the question number one, please? Um. Number one, uh, I bet it happened during the day, the days the system received maintenance. Uh, that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you did it. You already did it for, for the class. Very good. Very good. All right, so that is number one, right? That is number one. Can someone read? So she already gave us the answer. It's pretty simple, right? It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, let me see. It's that's why. Okay, number two, um, Doris. <laughs> oh, Francisco. <laughs> All right. Doris, can you read, please? Number two. Okay. Let me see. Maybe she has. Okay. The, the information sent to the finance department determinate the ground cost. I don't know, teacher. Okay. Continue. We. Oui. Okay. Overpaid for three incomplete orders. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, it's three, three, three spaces here, Doris. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you go to the reading in la lectura y la encontrar? You will find it in the literature. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. The answer. Okay, hello Jennifer. Teacher, excuse me, how do you say? I bet. I bet. I bet. Okay. I bet. This right yes. here? I bet. Okay. I, I, see? I bet. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right, can someone, um, let me see, Neftali, can you give us, what do you think the answer for number two is? As a result. Very good. As a result, right? As a result. And that is right here. Let me see. That is right here. As uh. a result. Uh, Do you see it, Doris? Yes. All right. As a result, we overpaid, right? As a result, we overpaid three complete, mm -hmm. incomplete orders, right? All right. So let me ask you this question. Let me see. All right. 
Okay, uh, Jennifer, no problem. I understand, okay? Let me see. So let me ask you something. What, what would happen, what would you do if you received a shipment with the wrong order? And what will you expect in return? It depends, teacher. Uh-huh. Tell me. Tell me about it. They get the wrong order, but the product is good. And the uh, provider says that um, in order to, to replace or to fix the problem, I could keep the product and it's better than the one that I ordered win for me all right so if you see something beneficial then you can say yeah yeah not, right? <laughs> right if you order 20 20 let me see what give me give me give me give me an example if you receive for example 20 no name brand we got more no name brand computers right yeah. One name brand, the cheapest brands, right? With no name brand, Re refurnished, right? Refurnished. And then all of a sudden you receive 20 Dell or 20, or 20 Mac, 20 Max, right? Brand new, right? <laughs> all right. So you wouldn't, you would just let it be, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. All right. All right. Good. That's a, a that's an, another example that could happen, right? Anyone else? Anyone else? What what would you do? What would you do if you received the wrong shipment? Would you would you complain? Would you try to get your money back or what? What would you do? Or what would you expect? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, I I return the product uh, to right. a provider provider to the provider. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Uh, mm -hmm. In in give a uh, uh, back uh, the money or the pay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Doris. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you for your opinions, right? This is all your analysis. Now, I want to ask you something. What does as a result? It's in, in está aquí como negrito, right? As a result. As a result. What does that mean? Como resultado. Yes. Very good. That is correct. So why am I putting emphasis on this? Because on the next page, they mention it, right? They talk about it como resultado, as a result, right? And you will see that in the next page. So I just wanted to brief you a little bit about that. Now, at the bottom of the page, on page 27, Freddy's, can you read what it says, where it says the link? Can you read that, please? The second one, not the YouTube video, but the other one. Okay, it says top five warehouse challenges. Very good. All right, top five warehouse challenges. And if you click on that link, you will have access to a lot of literature. It's, it's long, it's a little bit long, but what I did was I just got the main five, right? And I kind of, uh, Modified it a little bit for you. Let me see. All right, so here are the first three, and then we have the next two, which are what Freddy's just read. All right, this is in relation to the, the book on page 27 at the bottom. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Page 27 here. 
Let's done a 27 right here. You see this right here? Can you see the screen? No, no. Let me see. All right. Can you see the screen now? Yes? Yes. All right. Yes, so on page 27, you just you just did this activity right here, right? You just did this. But on page 27 at the bottom, there is this what Freddy's just read top five warehouse challenges right here there is a link there and you don't have to click on it because i already have it on my powerpoint presentation but if you're probably wondering hey donde esta esa información it comes from there right it comes from there from that um from that page so let's look at it the top five challenges All right, let me see who wants to read. Let me see. And, and he mentions Garcia, right? Garcia is like the person writing the literature. Okay. Garcia la persona que escribió la, esto que estamos viendo, what we're looking at right now. So don't be like, hey, who's Garcia, right? It's a person writing or giving the opinions. Now, let me see. Who wants to read the first one? Okay, go ahead. Inventory accuracy. Accurate, accuracy. Accuracy. When manufacturers don't have full visibility to their inventory, they face the problem of either running out of stuff, stuff at, the, at the wrong time or carrying. Uh, too much, too much stuff and dust. What is dust? Dust. And dust is por lo cual, o por tal. Uh, okay. And dust decrease, decreasing. Decreasing. Cash, decreasing cash flow while increasing expenses to warehouse extra materials. Of the two challenges, Garcia says, the greater problem it is inventory storage which can live to un unfulfilled unfulfilled okay unfulfilled unfulfilled order and unhappy customers all right very good so here we have inventory accuracy right and what we're talking about here is pretty much what happens every day in and not just here all over the world right but many companies do not like it when they come be they become short of a product right because what happens for, have you ever had that problem that you go to a store and you're looking for something and they don't have it? Huh? Have you ever, and you're like, ah, no lo tienen aquí, ahora tengo que ir allá, right? And you have to be like, and you're like, ah, oh, right? Those are- That's where, that's where it becomes the unhappy customer. <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly, right? So, and, um, and those are things that we face all the time, right? Those are things that we face all the time. Or sometimes I want to purchase something and they tell me, oh, we have to, lo tenemos que tener de San Salvador. And I'm like, oh, come on, right? Everything has to come from San Salvador, right? They need to start growing, growing more and storing stuff all over the country, right? Not everything or, or the headquarters has to be in San Salvador, right? And I know a lot of people are like, they get stuck right se quedan en lo mismo right for years and years and they tend to do the same things the same thing lo mismo lo mismo lo mismo they tend to do the same thing over and over and over again until they become inefficient ya cuando se, eh, eh, at one point or another en algún punto o otro se, se crea la ineficiencia right the inefficiency and this is what happens this is the opposite of accuracy the total opposite of accuracy, right? 
when you have accuracy, you have control, you have discipline, and you know what you want. You know what you what you what you expect from your uh, from your warehouse, your workers, your inventory. That's accuracy, right? That's accuracy. The opposite will be disorder or not having control of things or materials. Now, many companies, sometimes they can't, for example, they can't help it. Do you know what I mean by they can't help it? O sea, no lo pueden evitar, right? Sometimes things happen that, for example, a big thunderstorm right or weather bad weather conditions right that the product cannot come on time and that's beyond our human capacity right for example if, if someone's taking your product to your house to your store and they have an accident right you, you can't be like ah oh, no está el producto aquí there was an accident right there's some things that you cannot help you cannot in other words you cannot do nothing about but the things that you can do something about you should right you should and this is what he's talking about this is what garcia is talking about all right and then uh, just like freddy's talked about right then the customer be like oh they don't have the product here i'm going somewhere else and let me see number two inventory location inventory location <laughs> Me teacher. Yeah, all right. Sin llamarla, you participate. Perfect. Go ahead. Okay. Inventory location. Lack of inventory oversight can cause a buildup of inefficiencies. Okay. Within inefficiencies. Inefficiencies. Very good. Within the warehouse that slows operations and increases costs, Garcia says, without adequate insight into location, pickers take longer to find the items to ship, which slows the loading process and creates a, a backup in labor allocation and dock door scheduling okay very good right so when you have when we talk about inventory location you have to have you have to be efficient you have to be efficient with the space okay i think Thelma was talking about is mentioning about getting another lot right getting more space but what about if you can't get another space right a lot of companies can say can can say like for example well we don't have the money right now to get another place so what do you do with the place that you have you have to become efficient with it eficiente so if you don't if you don't become efficient then you have the opposite okay? it's inefficient right inefficient inefficiencia and what we're talking about here with inefficiency we're talking about the space that you have, the location. And if you store everything disorderly, as he's, ta as he's, uh, as he's talking about here, pickers take longer to find the items to ship, right? So pickers, lo que están seleccionando la, los productos, right? They're like, where's the, ¿dónde está la caja? De, eh, no, I put it over there. It's over, y andan dando vuelta, vuelta, vuelta. Before you know it, ya pasó una hora, right? an hour pass or they get and they say la caja una de dos right one of two like no right there's supposed to be two y nomás tenemos una where's the other one y anda para arriba para abajo right so those are some of the things that we can um we have to understand when we talk about inventory location right inventory location it slows the operation it slows the operations and increases costs so when you have a slower operation system, that causes your uh, your cost to go up because you're becoming inefficient, inefficient, right? 
inefficient. Now, can someone give me an example of anything that you consider that places or institutions that lack or have, for example, they have inefficiencies? I can give you an example. Okay, go ahead, Freddy. Give me an example. The Seguro Social. Okay, the Social Security, right? All right. It's inefficient, says Freddy. All right, why? We're talking about ease, right? Yes. Because um, let's say if you're sick <laughs> and, and you go um, for a medical checkup, sometimes you have to wait like two, three, or four hours in order for them to... Okay. Move. To be seen, right? Yeah, to be seen. All right. All and right. sometimes they don't have the medicine. Ah, inventory, right? The inventory. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes they don't have the medicine, right? That's another factor. All right. Thank you, Fredis. Thank you. Anyone else that would like to share something? Anything that you find inefficient? Inefficient. Anyone else? No? All right. Teacher, teacher yes. it could be, for example, when the stores don't have a uh, parking, for example, the location, mm. or it's only for a product. It's only for the product. Okay. Not necessarily. It could be it could be exactly what you're talking about. Very good example, Carlos. Very good example, right? Yes, that is correct, right? Many many companies or many institutions, right? In they, they lack of an adequate parking system, right? And people have to park on the street. I just think about gonna put the a lot of la calle, right? On the side of the street sometimes. Even when it says no parking, right? Aunque veamos el otro, no parking, eh, ahí ponemos el carro anyways, right? We still put it there because sometimes we can't find a parking space. Very good, Carlos. Good observation. Good observation. All right? Those are just other inefficiencies that we can find around our, our country, right? All right. Let's continue with, this is the location, right? And then we're going to do space. This is a little bit more precise. Let me see. Um, Thelma, can you read, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, number three. Yes, please. Okay, right. Space utilization. Utilization, okay, okay. yes. U utilization. Utilization. Oh. All right. Warehouse layout. It's not about how much space you have. It's about optimizing that space to avoid unnecessary level. Keep fast moving and high ceiling inventory near the front of the facility so live truck drivers aren't constantly traveling to the faster, fastest, farthest. Far, farthest, excuse me, reaches of the warehouse. All right, very good, Thelma. Excellent, well done. So here we're talking up about space, utilization, warehouse layout. The layout, hmm, what is layout? Esta palabra, layout. Hmm. Hmm. Design. It's like, like the design. I design, yeah. Ah, I very good, right? The design, right? This word right here, layout. All teacher, right. You, teacher, sorry, I have a question. You can use that word for the, for example, layout of the machine, right? Okay, okay, Carlos, machine. Machine, machine. Okay, the layout of the machine, yes. Like, for example, el diseño de la máquina, right? Yes, you can do the layout. The layout would be the the design where the the screws the voltage the, the little manual that will be the layout it will show a layout of the machine all right the design yes you can use it that way also all right so the warehouse layout is practice talking about practically 
is practically saying el diseño, cómo está diseñado el warehouse. Right? The design of the, let me turn off a microphone real quick. All right. Let me see. It's the design of the warehouse. Okay. The design of the warehouse, the layout, the way it's laid out, la fundación, how it's built, how it's, uh, how is it organized? And this is important because it mentions here that you have to optimize, optimizar. You have to optimize the space to avoid unnecessary labor. Aquí estamos hablando de labor innecesario. And what is it referring to? All right. It's referring to the... Um... All right, Francisco, glad you're back, right? I was looking at your picture of the bees, yeah. right? the attack of the bees, right? Yes, teacher. <laughs> but my wife closed the doors and windows immediately. Okay, well, I'm glad everything is finalized, right? All right. Now, when we talk about warehouse layout, we're talking about the design, right? The design. Okay. And like I was mentioning, this is, why is it important? Remember, if you ever work in warehouse or you have a business and you have a lot of products, you need to analyze your layout. And I'm going to add a little bit more to it. It says to avoid unnecessary labor. That's the key issue here. But also keep, miren esto, watch this. It says keep the fast moving and high selling fast moving and high selling inventory al frente in the front of the facility so if you have a product que se vende más rápido esa tiene que ir al más frente de la bodega that should be at the front of the warehouse and the high selling la que se vende más right or like se mueve más, fast moving and high selling. You put in the front of the facility. So lift truck drivers, para que los, the ones that are driving the trucks or getting the product, aren't constantly traveling to the farthest reaches of the warehouse. All right? Para que el personaje no esté yendo hasta atrás de la warehouse para ir a agarrar el producto, right? It'd be going back and forth, back and forth. So that's being optimizing the space. That's what it's referring to, All right? Let me see, let's continue with number four. Okay, before we go to number four, well, there's only five here, right? Let me, let me, before we, before we start, I'm going to do the second attendance, la segunda lista de asistencia, right? You see, this is the second one. Let me open it here. All right, Abigail. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. Okay. Brenda. Okay, not here. Carlos. I'm here present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris? Present. All right, thank you. Edwin? Present. All right, thank you. Francisco? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Here, teacher. Okay, Freddy, thank you. Glenda? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris? Present. Okay, thank you. Jackie? I'm here. Thank you, Jackie. Jarvin? Jarvin? Okay, he was here earlier. All right. No response. Jennifer? Okay, I know you sent me a message. Let me see. All right. Juan Jose? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla? 
Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel? Miguel, okay, not here. Neftali? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Rolando? Okay, not here. Delma? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Alvin? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's continue with the next two. Remember that if you want the information, you can click on the link on your book and you can see it for yourself. Also, if you want to um, read more about it, the introduction about it, you can always have access to that on page 27 where it says top five warehouse challenges. You can click the link and this will pop up with extra information also. Okay, number four, number four. Me, teacher. All right, go ahead, please. Redundant processes. Barcode technology can reduce or eliminate the problem of a big ticket or other documentation having to pass through multiple, multiple hands. Very good, right? Barcode, barcode, right? What is barcode, Blanca? Sorry, teacher, my mom interrupted me. <laughs> <laughs> she probably tell you, hi, mi niña, right? Mi niña. No, she, she told me that my my dog uh, took my, my shoes. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so what is barcode? Okay. What is barcode? Barcode. I don't know what it's that. It's the, it's the, ah, código de barras. Yeah, but... exactly. Yes, that is correct, right? Barcode, and we're talking about what uh, Blanca just mentioned, right? Es el código que está en todo producto. When you scan it, right? When you scan it, when you go to the store and they go, blip, 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 right? With a little gun or with just passing it through a, a laser beam that has, and it scans the barcode. This is called, a esto se le llama, barcode technology. Barcode technology. How many of you have gone to Walmart and then you want to check the price? Quiere revisar el precio del producto? And you just scan it right there, right? That is very efficient, right? I went to Walmart today and I'm always checking the product, right? I'm always checking the product to make sure it's not, it's priced correctly, right? Uh, you have to verify, right? So the barcode technology has increased dramatically right what hmm now that we're talking about barcode technology what other technology can you scan now it wasn't that popular but now it is it's not here but i'm just asking the class what other type of technology can you scan a product with a QR code. Ah, yes, right. QR. QR. Right. The QR code, right? A yes, code. or scan the, 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 the barcode with your cell phone. Yeah, right. You can do it with your phone, right? I use it. I use it. Sometimes you use it, right? Especially when you're when you're using um also um uh, when you're using uh, cryptocurrencies, you use it a lot, right? And when you're scanning products, you use it a lot also. I used it sometimes in restaurants, right? Yes. And it's not like I'm using it. The restaurant or the businesses are providing the QR code already. Right? Ellos están proporcionando el QR, right? 
So all you have to do is scan it, right? I went to a place one time and they were like, I asked for the menu, right? The menu. And when I asked for the menu, they say, oh, scan it right there, right? So I didn't, I didn't have to have it in physical form. Yeah, no, no, no. Is doing that. yeah, you see, so a lot of companies, a lot of companies are using a lot of technology, right? And let me see, to be honest with you, about four or five years ago, era bien común el QR, el QR? Four or five years no. ago? No, right? No. A lot of the technology has increased, right? And a lot of companies that are, that are not using it, ya componía que no están innovando en la tecnología, se están quedando atrás, right? They're falling behind. I went to a seminar. I'm going to be honest with you. I went to a seminar. Fui a un seminario. Years ago, I want to say in 2018, 2018, era un seminario de gente de, de educación. And they were as part of universities, right, here in San Miguel. And they, they were talking about people from uh, the United States, people from, from Europe, and one person, I believe, was from Australia, right? And they were talking about technology, right? They were talking about technology and about how we need to innovate in technology to enhance the education system, right? Using technology. But I was like, okay, sounds nice. But at that time, barcodes wasn't, I mean, the QR codes weren't that popular, right? And now, who said Pollo Campero? Can you Pollo Campero? Was it Freddy? Yeah? All right. So you said they use QR, QR, right? QR codes for your menu, right? For the menu. What else? What other restaurants have you, or companies, or anything? Carlos? Yes, teacher. Now we, we can use the, the QR code for to send money. Exactly, right? Yes, for to transfer money. Very good, very good. Yeah. Yes? And in all of them, actually, I, I, I use in that application is in space. QR with in the um, super selectors with Banco Agricola. Banco Agricola, right? Yeah. So yeah. you can pay yeah. some items you play, you can pay with a QR and sometimes, and mm -hmm. then you get the discount also, right? And some yeah. price are discounted, right? You get a percentage. 25%. Yes, right? If you pay with a QR code. No más por hacerlo así, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah right? So I'm like, yeah, I have, I, I use it, I boom, boom, right? Or, or, they have, I think our uh, last Monday, they had discount if you use your card, right? Your debit card, they, they're 20% or something on meats and the carnes and everything or something like that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so yeah, technology is totally advancing, right? And, and if, if, we don't, if we don't innovate with it, we, we tend to fall back, right? We tend to fall back. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. Carlos, you have a question? Yes, yes. Oh, no, only, only I want to say something. Okay, yeah. sure. So the all, all, all products have a, a bar, how can I say, Código de Barras? Okay, barcode. Barcode. All products have that because the all stores use that code for, for, your, for their inventory. Yes, inventory. Yeah, yeah, they, the old product have a, a unique number. Exactly, exactly, that is correct. That is correct. It's a way to keep track, right? Keep track of the products. All right, thank you, Carlos, and everyone for your input. Let's continue with number five. Continue with number five. Let me see. I want to read, teacher. Hey, please. Go ahead. Speaking optimization for warehouses that still have manual processes in place, there tends to be no common route taken to pick items for shipping, which adds unnecessary time to the process. With system directed, the routing can be 
automated, which will reduce wear and tear on equipment and the workforce. All right, equipment, all right, which can reduce wear and tear, right? Very good, thank you, Abigail. So this is picking, picking optimization, right? When we talk about picking, we're talking about picking up, right? Recoger, levantar el producto, right? To pick it up, to get it delivered to the proper place where it needs to go. But here is talking about having place always an alternative system, a system directed, right? It's, it's a way, así sin tanta vuelta. Let me see apps that you can use, right? For example, Waze, <laughs> Google Map, right? Right. You can use those types of a uh, system directed, right? And some some cars, right? I can't know, right? Not here. I haven't seen none yet. Quizás hay, but I haven't seen one yet. A car equipped. El carro ya viene equipado con un sistema de GPS, right? Um, who um, who has seen one here? Alguien ha visto un carro aquí que ya venga. Allá la parte del radio, el, la screen, la pantalla. Uh, uh, all right. What kind of car was it? Nissan Rogue. All right. Nissan Rogue, right? So, the new ones. The new ones, all right. Yeah, the new ones, right? Now, in, in many countries, it's common for everyone that has a car, like in 2018 and, and over, that has a GPS system in it, all right? And... But when we talk about warehousing, we're talking about a system that in case, for example, a construction, right? Let's say the road that you're going to take the product is under construction. You have to understand alternative routes. All right, that's what he's talking about here. You have to optimize in case something happens, the road is closed or something. You have to have something in place that automatically directs you. And a lot of the Ubers have that, have that already that they have it there or they use it. They use that type of system to optimize. Y así no gastan tanto gas. They optimize the base route. This is what he's talking about optimization as far as um, the movement of a product when you're driving down the road or you're moving it from place A to place B. All right, so those are the five dilemmas or five challenges. Remember, this is not in your book. The link is in your book and you can have access to it on page 27, these five. Now, we're going to do a small activity in relation to these five, one, two, three, four, five. What you're going to do is I'm going to put you in, in groups. So you can do it in groups. Or if you want to do it individually, you can. Or if you cannot do it, just let me know. All right. Just let me know if you can't do it in groups. You can do it individually. Let me see. You're going to select or find, right? Find. Teacher, select. good evening. Hello? Yes? Teacher, I am driving now. Okay, I Glenda. Okay, I will exclude you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no problem. I understand. I will exclude you from the activity. Thank you for your communi for communicating with me pertaining to your driving. Anyone else? All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to find, encontrar, seleccionar, however you want to call it, Right, but find, select, investigate. A company. Whichever company you want. 
any company you want. Any company you want. Cualquiera que usted quiera. You can go to the internet and find any company you want. You're going to find that company. And then you're going to select. No quiero que empiecen a seleccionar un montón de productos. Just select one or two products. Que más venden. That they sell the most. Remember earlier we were talking about fast products that you put at the beginning of the warehouse. Remember that on, uh, I believe, number three? So you're going to select one or two products. Right? Estas son las indicaciones. These are the instructions. Number two. You're going to select, select now one or two products from the company. Select one or two products from the company. And then I want you to All right, this is a critical thinking activity because it's going to require reading comprehension, it's going to require analysis, and you're going to find, select, or investigate, right? Tiene que encontrar, seleccionar, investigar una compañía, any company you want, cualquier compañía que usted quiera. It could be Apple, it could be Coca-Cola, it could be Dell, it could be whatever whatever company you want, right? And then you're going to select, usted va a seleccionar uno o dos productos de esa compañía. Los más vendidos, all right? Don't go into, like, for example, I select Walmart and, and I'm going to select, um, uh, I don't know, a product que casi no se vende. What do you think a product? Um, cortinas, right? No, come on, right? Give me something that you know is going to be sold quick and fast, right? It could be anything, right? But I want you to imagine, quiero que se imaginen, the warehouse. Quiero que se enfoque in where We're talking about warehousing, right? Now, you, you find a company, you find a product, and now, boom, imagínense la bodega. All right, imagine, number three, imagine. Ustedes quiero, yo quiero que se imaginen usted como en la bodega de ese, de ese lugar. Or where do they have it, right? Wherever it is, either it's there or outside or in another city, whatever. Imagine that in your mind. And then imagine one of the challenges. Imagínense una de las cinco que acabamos de ver. Imagine one of the five in class. Tiene que seleccionar una. Un reto, un desafío de las cinco que vimos. And decide a solution. Y usted va a decidir la solución. All right, that's the activity. So imagine yourself. Aquí los estoy poniendo en una posición como like the CEO or the person in charge of the inventory. Que dice, hey, ¿qué está pasando aquí? Porque esto, right? And now you're overseeing that. And now you're going to decide a solution. Va a decidir usted una solución. You're going to give, explain a solution to the problem. Um, anyone have any questions? 
please tell me because you're going to be in groups. And if you have any doubts, I am here to help you. Teacher, we have to to send you the or or options, or only we have to talk that in, in something. Oh no! Thank you, Carlos. Yes, great question. You do not have to send it to me. All right, I will enter breakout rooms. Yo voy a estar entrando en breakout rooms, and I will be analyzing what you're talking about. So you do not have to send it. No es necesario que me manden todo esto. Okay. So you probably say, oh, que bueno, right? All right, so you do not have to send it to me. This is a group activity in breakout rooms. I will enter breakout rooms. So it's just a speaking activity. Yeah, but you still have to do research, right? You yeah. might still have to write a little bit, but it's basically you're giving a solution, all right? Okay. You're giving a solution. Now, I'm going to put you in pairs, but in pairs, lo voy a poner en pares. It's only going to be two. So you decide what company to stay at, and then you one can say, okay, I select the company and you select the product. I used to have to right? You can decide. And then you decide one of the challenges. All right, let me see. I'm going to send it to the group. Just in case. Let's see. All right, so there I put it on the group. Let me see. And I'm going to send the other one. All right. Hold on. Whoever's writing right now, please hold on real quick. Okay. Whoever's writing on the group, please hold on. Let me send this to the group also. The other, the other three. All right. There goes the other three right there. All right. There goes the five total. So you're going to select one of those five and then give a solution to the problem. Now, Remember the product, all right? Remember the product. So if the product is is being mishandled in 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 the in the warehouse, you decide how is it mishandled. Is it is it mishandled? Was it damaged? Was it uh, misplaced? You give your reasons as to what happened to the product. ¿Qué le está pasando al producto? Se perdió. Is being damaged. Um, it's not being stored properly in the space. Are we talking about inventory accuracy? Are we talking about inventory location or, or, or the layout? Or are we talking about redundant processes, right? Lack of uh, barcode technology, you can give that, right? Or is it picking, right? Is it picking? Is the product not being, is the product not being shipped properly because the, the carrier is not taking the proper uh, route 
and the product is not getting there, you find a solution to those problems. Okay, any more questions? I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. All right, so Glenda says she couldn't do it, right? Because she's driving, so let me write her name down. Francisco. Yes, teacher. All right. Are you ready? Yes, I I believe that yes. <laughs> All right, great, great. Teacher. Yes, sir. I am thinking about the for example at, at the movie. I can select this product. Okay. The products. Yeah, I, you can you I don't can... have a and they the company specific okay However, you can yeah you can choose any company you want right but remember you're doing this in group in pairs so when you yeah. get with your partner you can decide with your partner what what can you add and if you still need help francisco i will enter your room okay if you have yeah, any okay. more help but okay uh, communicating with your partner and then if we have doubts mm -hmm. i will enter okay but you can okay. choose, you can choose anything franco Francisco. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I have only this idea, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's but good. I, I'm not sure if if, if, if this is a good idea. But uh, if I can to select the that the cinema. Yes. All right, okay, you can choose okay. it, just decide the products, right? Okay. All right, let me see. Erwin, did you say something? Edwin? Let me see. Edwin? Okay. Okay, no problem, Edwin. I will exclude you also. All right. Thank you for communicating. Let's continue. Okay, room number one, Abigail. Alvin, are you able to do this activity, Alvin? Alvin? Okay, thank you. All right, so it's going to be Abigail and uh, Blanca. All right, number two is going to be Doris and Carlos. Number three is going to be Freddy's and Francisco. Number four is going to be Iris and Jackie. Number five is going to be, let me see, Jarvin and I think Jennifer cannot do it either. All right, it's Jarvin and Carla. All right, let me see. Janari and I'm going to add three people here. And uh, Juan Jose. Okay. Janari and Juan Jose. And Neftali and Telma. All right. Are you ready? One, two,
triple 15. So they, okay. they, they stock the, the fertilizer and um, they, don't, they don't do like only one stock. They, they actually, they do like around Classify by type, by size, by color, by price. Yeah. Product. Yeah. The, the important is how is the product is location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that it, this is important. Mm. And no matter the product. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Concrete, to the curacao or to tropigas or but to prado the curacao prado and another and other stories okay. but they don't okay. know their inventory they don't know how many motorcycles they have on each story they don't know where the motorcycles are they, don't, is... have, they don't have that kind of control Okay, but it's similar to Trader. <laughs> yes, it was like. Yes. We can we can make a wood for sun. Exactly. And the product will be in order just to keep away and and give to the customers, not to find at the moment. Yes. Well, um, our challenge it will be the third one. Our solution, we have three, and our company is Lace. <laughs> what is the name of the company, Lace? Lace. Yes, the potatoes. All right, Lace, Lace. Yes, for chips? all. Are you Sorry? Talking, are you talking about Frito Lace? Like potato chips? Yes. yes. <laughs> the originals and the pollo campero ones. Oh uh, yeah, the original pollo campero. So you like you like pollo campero? Yes. Yes. And you, Yerby? Yes, are delicious. Yeah, right. Yeah. They normally have some good combos, right? Good combos, like the six-piece chicken. You know what I like? What I like. I like something from Pollo Campero that I, I can go inside and eat. That is the pizza. I know. It's so good. I like the pizza that they put everything on it. <laughs> que le ponen todo, they put everything on it, right? But some people say they don't like it, right? Some people are like, no, nah, it's better over here. But I can eat the pizza from Pollo Campero. Right? Yes, I prefer than. I prefer more than Pizza Hut. Yes, oh, yes. it's good. <laughs> Carla, oh, like what? Pe? It's better. No. 
Yes, el pollo campero de camperitos en oriental sauce are ah, delicious. Yeah, oriental sauce, right? And those, that yeah. special sauce, right? It's All so right. sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's correct. All right, any questions? You have any no. Questions? no. Are you finished? For me, no. Uh, you are? No, for me. All right. Are you finished or or you are you're still continuing? Well, we are finished at the moment, but just taking all all the details. All right. Okay. I'll give you about a few more minutes so we can go back to the main session. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. Hi teacher, Great. can you put me can you put me again yeah. with what with happened? Abigail? Oh, you left her by herself. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, my internet is failing, so I have to connect with my phone. Okay, I will put you back. Okay, Blanca, no problem. Thank you. It shows it's the same sometimes. Yes. When they <laughs> uh, pu public are public, okay. they offer publicize. Publish, publicize. Yes. Mm -hmm. Publicize the offers. Uh, many times it's only some size, only some, some on, only, only one. Styles or size specifics? Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. That's the problem. But if you have a look, luck, luck, uh, luck, <laughs> you can buy one. <laughs> so you can find that the size you are. Teacher, we were talking about a boutique. Okay, a boutique. A boutique, yeah, a boutique of uh, women's clothes. All right. So you're talking about a lot of 
clothing, right? All kinds of stuff, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. All right. Well, that's great. That's great. Did y'all find some solutions to the problems? Uh, yes. All right. Great. Great. So y'all finish or y'all just continue a little bit more or you finish? Yeah. Um, we are talking about that. Okay. Okay. Continue. I'll give you about maybe three more minutes. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. Thanks. No problem. Okay. Sure. Thank you. All right. Okay. No, uh, but in choose in in when when start the other the other year and uh, uh, school when school back uh, you can uh, most most people buy choose. <laughs> Yes, and, well, and in, in this well, moment, for example, if you want to buy in Siman uh, uh -huh. many, many products, uh, mm -hmm. they have a desk, um, uh, you pay less than uh -huh. the real. Teacher! <laughs> Help me again! Help me again! Right, no problem. I will put you back. We have I, I was I was writing to you because yes. oh, okay. again it happens okay. again. Let me see. <laughs> Let me put you back with. Uh... All right, you ready? The blue, because there's an an avatar, a movie that that has the five elements. Yeah. Earth, earth, but it, wind, but this is fire, time. and water. Uh huh. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, I don't know, but it, but I I know that this is a cartoon movie. Yeah, but, oh. but I think I think it came out on theaters too. Really? Yeah. Uh, I I don't know this this that. But Okay, welcome back. Let me see. I hope you enjoyed this topic in reference to warehousing. Talk about different products, how to solve problems. All right. And good job, everyone. I entered the rooms and I was listening to some of you express yourself. That was the importance of this activity, right? For you to be able to express yourself without the teacher giving you all the information, the, you were, you're able to 
develop yourself in your speaking skills and in the technical words that are used here. Remember, this is not the average like English class, all right? This is not the average English class that you see in other places, all right? And this is all English para el trabajo, all right? This is all related with technical vocabulary, right? No es como una clase de inglés así que nomás dan en diferentes lugares. This is dirigido específicamente para el trabajo, especially for that, right? That's why the topics are so different, right? The topics from last unit, I mean, in the last unit and the unit before versus this one and the last one that is coming next week. And those are the topics, right? Remember the, that's how these modules are made with those different um, technical topics and all, all those technical vocabulary words. And then I give you the ability to express yourself and give your own opinions on the questions that are asked, right? Very good overall. Um, I entered the rooms and you did very well, all right? Very good for, for everyone to be able to communicate and speak in the English language in a professional manner. Very good. Uh, teacher. Very good. Yes. Uh I think that uh, this uh, model of course is similar when, for example, uh, when I work, uh, we have um, uh, many laws, many laws, normas. I don't know how do you say normas, but law is similar. Lo when many norms? Norms or laws uh, for the building, for the control, for the quality of building, we have many, many laws, many norms. And one of these day norms is ASTM the norm ASTM that okay. to regulate all the quality of the material, sand, mm. rape, concrete, steel, etc. And uh, in that in that norm have uh, many technical work, many, many technical Exactly, work. exactly. And that right? is very interesting. Very exactly, interesting. exactly, right? That, that is exactly what uh, what I was referring to, and Juan Jose just mentioned some of those those words, especially when you're talking about when he just mentioned the steel, the concrete, and all those tip, those types of uh, work environments that you need you need all those technical vocabulary words in every field, right? For example, in medicine, when you study medicine, you need to study technical vocabulary, right? When you study in a higher education, and for example, I think. Uh, Juan Jose mentioned about architect one day. I think mentioned algo de arquitectura, right? You have to have the the vocabulary for that also. You have to have the vocabulary, technical vocabulary for even for tourism, right? El turismo, right? You have to be able to communicate with different vocabulary words when you have to talk with tourists, right? Tourists or when you're flying in an airplane, the airport, right? You have to know that vocabulary also. Everything is technical, right? Everything, everything is, is based around technical vocabulary, right? Okay. Yes, uh, I, I think that this is a little problem. Uh, for example, when one word uh, in one speciality have different meaning the, to other speciality. For example, in Hispanic, vector. Vector for me, in engineer, is different to vector in a medicine. Exactly. Are, are different. Exactly. Yeah, right? Every every field, every field has its own technical vocabulary, right? Every yes. field has its own technical vocabulary. Even uh, for a welder, a construction worker, anyone working in the construction, they have their technical vocabulary, right? Mm -hmm. For engineers, for architects, for doctors, in anything that you do, anything that I do, even in the in the legal system, right? In the sistema legal, in our legal system, we have to you have to be able to understand the vocabulary, the technical vocabulary, right? And that is that is important so you can grow and understand a whole environment with a little bit of everything, right? Poquito de todo, right? Be able to learn a little bit of everything so you can progress and grow in the English language and grow also with knowledge, right? Crecer en el conocimiento and also in el aprendizaje, in the, in the understanding and knowledge and learning process of each one of us, right? Including myself, right? I have to grow also in everything that I do, right? So 
a very good activity, everyone. Thank you for your participation. And now I'm going to do the final attendance. And tomorrow we will do page 28. Page 28. We're, that's a little bit. Quizás aquí es un poquito de gramática, right? Page 28. This is a little bit more in the grammar aspect and vocabulary. Because we're going to do 28 and 29. Vocabulary and a little bit of grammar for tomorrow. Okay? So, okay, teacher, I have a doubt. Yes, please tell me. Uh, for example, in the page number uh, 28. Okay, 28, the one that we will see tomorrow. Yes, there uh -huh. are many, many um, uh, sentences that, uh, for example, as a consequence, as uh -huh. a result, uh, consequently, or as a result, uh, in the platform, there are many questions about that, but it don't matter uh, which way you put always, it's wrong. I don't know why. Okay. Um, can you send me uh, a picture of it, Juan Jose? Yes, yes, I can. Uh, please, so I can see, because it could be something in the platform and I could verify it. Or if not, tomorrow I will cover it also. Okay. Is, is 3.5. 3. Okay, 3.5. Can you tell me, uh, can you send me a picture of the ones you did? Yes. Uh, and then I can see what is wrong with it. Salieron mm. malas or, or están buenas? Juan? Uh, all, all is wrong. Okay. All right, so all of them are wrong. Okay, so can you send me the screenshot, Juan Jose? That way I can see if if there's some mistakes and then we can correct them and I will send you a response as soon as I see it. All right, okay. I would appreciate okay. it. Thank you, thank you. That is great, right? Remember, if you have any doubts in the platform, I am here to help you. So all you have to do is ask me and I will check it for you, okay? Because sometimes there are mistakes in the platform or sometimes we make the mistakes when we don't put like a space or a period or something like that, but send me the screenshot so I can verify, right? Si la plataforma, I contact administration and we can fix it there, okay? If it's okay. us here, I can help you with that. Okay, well, that's it, thank you. Let me see, I will do the final attendance. Okay, Abigail? Present. Let me see what happened here. Blanca? Present. Okay. Brenda? Brenda? Okay, not here. Zero. Carlos? I'm here present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris? Present. All right, let me see. Edwin. Edwin? Okay, you told me you we're working, no problem. Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Freddy's. All right, great. Glenda? Present teacher. All right. Iris? Present. Okay, thank you. Jackie? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jarvin? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer? Jennifer? Okay, I know she told me she was busy. Juan Jose? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla? Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel? Miguel? Okay, not here, zero. Neftal Neftali? Present teacher. All right. <laughs> All right. See, I'm getting it. I'm getting it, right? I'm getting it. All right, Rolando. Rolando. Okay, not here. Zero. Uh, Thelma. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Let me see. And finally, Alvin. All right, I see your message. Thank you, Alvin. And okay, class, remember tomorrow, if you have any questions for, for those two pages, please let me know. And we will see those tomorrow also. And I'm going to give you extra practice to do according to those topics. Good night, everyone. The person that stays today is Neftali.
right? You stay with me for an extra 10 minutes. Everyone uh-huh. else, good night, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Take good care. Night, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, Jennifer. See you tomorrow. No problem. Hello, Nathalie. Hello, teacher. All right. So how's everything going? Fine. Fine today. Okay. Remember, this is your extra 10 minutes for you. And if you have any questions or or you would just practice English, whatever you would like to do, Nephtali, this is your extra time. Okay? Practice English. All right. Great. Any topic that you would like to talk about as far as like uh, economics, tourism, flying, uh, medicine? I don't know. You tell me. Well, you give me the. You start. Go ahead, Neftali. Um, economics. Economics. Something I, w- I would like to know. You have tell us uh, that you manage some crypto coins. I would like to know about it. Yes, I do, right? <laughs> As a matter what, of what applications you use? I use I use two, right? Really three. Right? I do have strike, but I don't go to La Libertad, so I can't use it over there, right? But when I do go, I plan to use it. But right now I use um Chivo Wallet. I use Binance, right? Chivo for here only, right? But Binance internationally. Binance, and I also use uh, Bitso. Bitso, this is a wallet that that I can transfer. I can transfer from from Binance to Chiwa Wallet for a cheap price, right? For a cheap price. If you do directly from Binance to your bank account, it's like twenty three dollars the transfer. But if you do it from the other application to Bitso, from Binance to Bitso to Chivo Wallet, it's like two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> so I already, I've already made, uh, like for example, yesterday, I transfer. I had other coins and I bought another coin, and I made a hundred and fifty dollars just from from last night to today. What was the coin? The coin was, I'll tell you the coin right now. I have it here on Binance. It's called M-A-N-A, Mana. Mana. Mm-hmm. And I bought it a cheaper price. I bought it yesterday when it went down. Then it went up this morning to over $5, 540 something. And I bought it for $4. So I put some money in it and it went up and then I took it out when it went to four, when it went to $5 and 25 cents, when it started going down, I took it out. <laughs> I took it out. Right. And now it's at $4 and 84 cents. Right. It's at $4 and 84 cents. Right. So that's where it's at right now. It's at four. Or let me let me put it right here so I can. I don't want to show like the whole screen, but I can show you something like this. Okay. Right. So you can see it live, as you can see all the ones in green and red, the ones that are in positive and negative. So I use that one. I tried to use um, Coinbase, the American one. Remember that Binance is not in the United States. Right, and um, Coinbase is Coinbase. So, but I had problems with the 
with the acceptance. I don't know what happened. I did everything because they asked for the ID, the picture. They scan your face. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Te escanea la cara. Scan your face. Yes, yes. I tried with an, with an app. I don't know what was the name of it. Paxful. Mm. I couldn't. I couldn't register. Yeah. I registered with Binance. When I registered with Binance and Neftali, I did it at the beginning of the year. I did it before Chiwa Wallet came. Right. So when Chiwa Wallet came out, like, yeah, because now I can do it here and I can do, but only big, you can only do Bitcoin with that. Right. It'll be nice yeah. if they had other coins. Right. But if you go to Binance, they, Binance is the biggest. Remember that. Binance is la, la más protegida, is the most protected one, and the one with the most coins, la que tiene las más monedas. And then secondly, is Coinbase, the American company, right? Coinbase. That one, I still, I have, like I told you, they do, they take like a dollar fifty from your account, and then you have to verify it. Yeah, yes, on it was like what, right? Mm -hmm. And and then it said do part four where you have to validate your information. Cuando le doy a validate, me da error. Me dice, try again. And I, I did it like seven times. I said, you know what? I don't need Coinbase. Quizá <laughs> algo me dice que mejor no, right? So I just say, uh, maybe not, right? But you can buy. The thing that I like about Binance, o así lo que me gusta de Binance, is that, let's say, digamos, let's say a coin, como la que te hablé ahorita, la maná, right? It's a centralized coin. If it goes up, la sacas, pero no la sacas a, a, a recibir tu dinero. You don't take it out to receive your money. You, you can convert. Automáticamente le das en una, en, un, en una icon, la puedes convertir a otra moneda que quizás bien, está bien baja y la pones allí. Y ya cuando suba, you get in the, the, the gain, right? Y ya esta va bajando. You can switch. You can flip. And you can make 200, 400, 800, 1,000, y así, right? And of course, of course, of course, sometimes you're going to, te vas a meter, boom, guys, <laughs> una, a spider web, right? <laughs> right? Like ship, right? Ship. Uh, you know, That's right. I have bought ship. I have bought Dogecoin. Dogecoin fue una decepción para mí, right? Dogecoin. It was a ship made me maybe good money. Now, la destaque. Right? When it started going down, I got rid of it, right? Y ahorita estoy viendo que está subiendo de nuevo, right? So maybe I consider it. I bought Dogecoin, Chip, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Ethereum. XRP, um, XRP. XRP is the one that I use for the other app, XRP Ripple, right? I have bought ADX. Um, ADX. With ADX, I made $100 in five minutes. Con esa. Right, I was just looking at it and I said, y esta que, and I look, and he was going like this, do, do, and I said, comprar, I bought, right, <laughs> do, 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 and it went up, and it went up, and then it started coming down, blue, 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 and I said, oh, take out, right, <laughs> <laughs> and now I bought it, I have bought it like for a dollar, and it went almost to two dollars, like a dollar eighty or something, I can't remember, but it made me a hundred dollars, then it was coming down. Ahora ni un dólar, vale. <laughs> so sometimes you get, I have lost. I lost with ship because I was like, okay, ship, come on, sube, sube. It, it go up a little bit, it boom. It go up a little bit, boom, right? And I was like, yo miraba abajo en el piso, <laughs> no se cayó hasta allá abajo, right? But it was like, but it's fun, you know, it's, it, it's fun. And I just move it, right? And then when I say, okay, I need, okay, I, I need a $200. I just go here, transfer, convert to XRP con Bitso. Y de ahí la mando a Chivo Wallet. Y aquí voy al cajero and I take it out. Right? So you can do that easily, right? Easily. Why don't you remember that I'm going to give you an advice. Un consejo, Nestalí. Right? This is not like, oh, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm just giving you an advice. Remember that if you use a platform to buy crypto, make sure you know how to take it out. 
It's easy to buy, it's easy to trade, but sometimes it's hard to take out. O a veces no se, no se puede, right? Depending on the coin. Sometimes you can transfer a coin to another wallet y no la acepta and you lost that money. All right, so be very careful. Be very careful, right? But maybe one day uh, you want to talk about this outside of class. You know, we can talk about it and maybe I can, um, we can talk about this without, you know, and maybe it'll be, if you want how to do your, your, your account with Binance, You know, it'll be, it's, it's safer. It's safer, right? It has a lot of security, a lot of security in it, right? But you use, you use a platform. What's the name of the platform that you use? I wanted to use Paxful. Okay, can you spell it? P A. Mm, I've heard about it. X X F U U. F U L. Okay, A P A X F U L. That's right. All right. I think I've heard about it. I think I saw it yesterday on on a YouTube channel. There right. are there are some um, some ads, public ads here in El Salvador. Yeah, I think I've seen it. Uh, I think when they talked about the when they when they talked about the Bitcoin City. And when they did that uh, uh, in, el, in, in, in La Libertad, right? El otro que right. Hicieron, the event that they did in La Libertad, eh, they had those different companies that were there, right? And yeah. The, eh, I, estaba, I think it was that one that was there, right? Paxful. So you already bought coins here in this? Uh, no, I, I could not register. Oh, you couldn't register. Have you tried with Binance? No, no. No? No. no. All right. What, what about Coinbase, the American one? No, either. No, neither. <laughs> I, before before Chivo Wallet, I wanted to try strike, but I didn't because it was on the beach and so yeah, far. That, that's what I was telling you. I have it. I have an account, but the thing about strike is they charge commission. Yeah. So, yeah, I saw some videos about it. The commission is so high. Yeah, so it's like for every transaction, yeah. like I can't remember they said like five dollars or something like that. Like, come on, right? You're going to yeah. take out ten dollars and you're going to pay five dollars for for the transaction. For the, like, yes, no right. way, right? No way. All right. The the good thing, if you ever think about Binance, the good thing about that is if you have a bank account, you can yeah. easily you know rapidito like this in seconds <laughs> in seconds all right it doesn't take long okay neftali um it would be nice for me if i could talk about this in class but i, I can't right but since we're here you brought the subject i i did it for your convenience all right So if you have any other questions in the future, feel free to contact me, okay? All right. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Have a good night and thank you for, for staying the extra time, Neftali. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you All tomorrow. Right. Good see night. Good night. Bye-bye.